Hey there! Ever wondered how you can just pick up your phone, dial a number, and instantly be connected to someone on the other side of the world? It's almost like magic, right? But there's no magic here. Just some incredible technology that makes it all possible. Today, we're going on an adventure through the world of mobile networks and phone calls to uncover how your voice travels through thin air, gets transformed into signals, and makes its way to your friend's ear. Ready? Let's dive in. So picture this. You grab your phone, scroll through your contacts, and tap on your friend's name. Instantly, your phone springs to life, searching for the best way to connect. But what exactly happens when you press that call button? Well, first, your phone needs to reach out to a nearby cell tower. You see, the world is covered in a web of these cell towers, each one acting like a giant, invisible relay station. They're the superheroes of the mobile world, constantly listening for signals from your phone. When you make a call, your phone sends out a signal, like a digital shout saying, Hey, I'm here! I want to make a call! This signal is a mix of radio waves, which are a type of electromagnetic radiation. But don't worry, these waves are super safe and have been carefully designed to carry information without causing harm. Once the nearest cell tower picks up your phone's signal, the real fun begins. The cell tower takes your signal and passes it along to a mobile switching center, or MSC for short. Think of the MSC as a massive, super smart traffic controller. Its job is to figure out where your call needs to go and how to get it there as quickly as possible. The MSC looks at the number you're calling and decides the best route for your signal to take. But here's where it gets really interesting. If the person you're calling is on a different network, the MSC needs to hand off your signal to the Public Switch Telephone Network, or PSTN. The PSTN is like the granddaddy of all telephone networks. It's been around for decades and is responsible for connecting all sorts of calls, from landlines to mobile phones. When your call enters the PSTN, it travels through a series of switches and routers, each one directing the signal closer to its destination. It's like your voice is on a high-speed train, zipping through tunnels and over bridges, all to reach the person you're calling. But wait, how does your voice actually travel through all these networks? Great question! When you speak into your phone, your voice is captured by a tiny microphone inside the device. This microphone converts the sound waves of your voice into electrical signals. These signals are then digitized, meaning they're turned into a series of zeros and ones, basically the language of computers. Your phone compresses this digital data to make it easier to send over the network, and then it's off on its journey. Now back to our call. As your digitized voice travels through the networks, it gets decoded and reassembled at various points along the way. It's kind of like a puzzle being put together piece by piece as it moves from one place to another. Eventually, the signal reaches the cell tower closest to the person you're calling. The cell tower sends out its own signal, which is picked up by their phone. And just like that, your friend's phone starts ringing. When your friend answers, the process happens in reverse. Their voice is captured, digitized, sent through the network, and eventually decoded by your phone, allowing you to hear them clearly. All of this happens in the blink of an eye, so quickly that it feels like you're having a real-time conversation, even if you're miles apart. But what happens if you're on the move during a call? Say you're walking down the street or driving in your car. Well, this is where the brilliance of mobile networks really shines. As you move, your phone continuously communicates with nearby cell towers, checking which one has the strongest signal. If the signal from one tower starts to weaken, your phone will automatically switch to a stronger tower without you even noticing. This seamless transition is called a handoff, and it ensures that your call stays connected no matter where you go. Now let's talk a bit about what happens behind the scenes to keep these networks running smoothly. Mobile networks are made up of multiple layers of technology, each working together to handle billions of calls and data transmissions every single day. At the heart of it all are the base stations, which are the physical structures that house the cell towers. These base stations are connected to the mobile switching centers through high-speed data links, often using fiber optic cables. This setup allows for lightning-fast communication between your phone and the network. But managing all these connections isn't easy. That's where network operators come in. They're the ones responsible for ensuring that the network is always available. Even during peak times when millions of people are making calls or using the internet, they use advanced software and algorithms to monitor the network, predict where traffic might be heavy, and make adjustments to keep everything running smoothly. And let's not forget about 4G, 5G, and all those other Gs you've heard about. The G stands for generation, and each new generation of mobile technology brings faster speeds, more reliable connections, and the ability to handle more devices at once. 5G, the latest generation, is particularly exciting because it promises ultra-low latency, which means there's almost no delay between when you say something and when the other person hears it. 
This is a game changer for things like video calls, online gaming, and even future technologies like autonomous vehicles. So there you have it. The next time you make a phone call, you'll know that it's not just a simple connection. It's a complex dance of signals, towers, and networks, all working together to make sure your voice gets where it needs to go. It's amazing to think about how far we've come from the days of rotary phones and landlines, and it's even more exciting to imagine what the future holds for mobile communication. Thanks for joining me on this journey through the world of mobile networks and phone calls. I hope you've enjoyed learning about how it all works, and maybe you'll even impress your friends with your newfound knowledge. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on our next tech adventure. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the amazing world of technology.